Well, the new year is only a few weeks away, and if you have an older relative who is looking to do some home improvement, it is so important to know your loved one's needs and how to budget for the project. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm fan grilling. I'm geeked. HGTV star and home improvement <laughs> expert Ty Pennington is here with Amy Goyer from AARP. Thank you both for being here. I'm excited. Well, thanks for having us. Yeah, glad oh, to be here. Thank you so much. So, Ty, what advice do you have to just start a conversation with family about the need to renovate their home? Well, you know, sometimes the conversation is, is the toughest yeah. step, you know, because let's face it, um, your parents, your loved ones, as they're aging, the last thing they want to hear is from their offspring telling them right. that they should not drive or they shouldn't go upstairs anymore, all the above. But I think um, since it is the holidays, we're all gathering, it's a great time to sort of talk with your, your, your other family members, your siblings, and say, like, what do you think she needs to really yeah. make life uh, better here? And I think if you present it the, the right way, they're accept, you know, they're, they're okay with, like, making their life easier and better, trust me. Oh, those yeah, are, it's a yeah. great way to approach it and, and, and make it so that you're, you're talking about them being as independent yeah. as possible for as long as possible. Yeah, yeah, Amy, what is the best way to assess or prioritize a loved one's need for assistance? Well, first of all, look at their current health needs and yeah. what those their health conditions, how they might develop into the future. Okay. You can walk through the home, walk through their daily life in the home and think, okay, where are the, the hazards? Where's there a yeah. fall hazard? Where are they having struggling to get things out of a cabinet? Right. Are, are they safe in the bathroom? That's one of the most common places for falls. Yeah. You know, do they, can they get up, up and down from the toilet easily? Maybe they need some um, rails, grab bars in strategic places. So really assess all of that. You you can talk with their doctor. You can have a physical therapist or an occupational therapist come in the home and do assessments as well to, to really get a good idea. Yeah, and there's that. a lot of, and there's great renovations you can do yeah. to really give their independence back, right? Because we all want to be able to sort of, um, be taken care of, but we also don't want to feel like we're a burden, I think, uh, as you get older. Mm -hmm. But I think some of the, the big things that you run into our stairs, right? Ooh, Is there a way that you yes. can transform your house to put in a ramp? Um, if that's not feasible, then maybe you start looking at your garage as a possible renovation project to be a new permanent home. But I think the bathroom is just one of the biggest pro um, problems that, because they're just designed so small that they're not really, as we get older, we may need like walkers, they may need wheelchairs, and to be able to roll right into a shower so that they can take care of their needs by themselves. And of course, just using the toilet becomes a huge problem. So having safety bars, maybe mm -hmm. a riser on the toilet so it makes it easier for them to get on, uh, get get up and sit down yeah. because it's those little things that can be a big problem sometimes. Sure. Right. And those little things make a big difference. So where, great tips, and we appreciate all of that. Where can viewers go to learn more? Yeah, you can go to aarp.org slash caregiving. Ty and I are going to be talking about these things this evening in a webinar that's free. We're going to go into a little bit more depth and yes. detail on this stuff. So please go to aarp.org slash caregiving and register. We love it. Thank you, Ty. Thank you, Amy, for being here. We appreciate you so much. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. If you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4PMNews at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4PM News Spotlight.